I am Anet Garai. I would like to address my Honorable Prime Minister Sato Kilman regarding climate change in Vanuatu. Climate change has destroyed our livelihood. Vanuatu is currently recovering from a Category 5 cyclone. As we face a rebuilding effort beyond our capacity, our devastated tiny island nation now faces the double threat of the continuing cyclone season and El Nino. This phenomena drains what is left of our precious resources, our water, our food, and our health. I see it every day in my clinics and in my hospitals. Our children already facing the dual disease burden of malnutrition and diarrheal disease now have to face the prospect of no food and no water. Our rural nurses have no water to wash soil laundry or to sterilize birthing equipment to help mothers deliver safely. If God is listening, may he spare my beautiful island home. Climate change has taken a toll on the health of my people. Slowly, my country is beginning to feel the effects of the drought. And as water dries up, so does hope. In the global context, Vanuatu's carbon production has minimal impact on climate change. However, it is most at risk on the world's natural disaster risk index. Our diverse ecosystems are being threatened by climate change, as is the well-being of Nivanuatu people who rely on this for food and for income every day. Renewable and efficient energy investments must be sought to minimize the negative impacts on the environment. Honorable Prime Minister, you must persistently petition for funds for these adaptations. My prayer each day is that Vanuatu will make a speedy recovery. The people of Vanuatu have been resilient since Cyclone Pam hit. It is now your duty, Honorable Prime Minister, to ensure sustainable and resilient development across all sectors in Vanuatu by addressing the risks we face from climate change and disaster impacts. We implore you to ceaselessly seek funds and support for the changes that need to be made uniting with our Pacific Island counterparts and our international community to sign a global agreement on climate change in Paris and save our homes.